September 12th update below. This post was first published on September 11th, 2020. As Apple gears up to its Time Flies special event on Tuesday, September 15th, the plot thickens as to which watch is which. But, we do know Apple Watch is coming. September 12th update. Hold on to your hats, as if all this wasn't enough, now one leaker is saying that there's another, yes another, watch coming, too. Don't worry, it's not on its way this week, but should arrive next March. It's been leaked by Comia. But, before we get to that, a few days ago, popular leaker at LO Vetadream, described the new watch which is expected this week with their usual brevity by saying, S5 without ECG. Hmm. That's not quite the same as Prosser's assertion that it is based on the Series 4. Although Series 4 and Series 5 look superficially the same, they have very different displays. Only Series 5 is capable of being always on, and it seems plenty unlikely to me that the new affordable watch would have an always on screen. In that sense, Prosser's suggestion seems that bit more accurate. However, at LO Vetadream had an intriguing addendum. When it was mentioned that it makes sense to replace the Series 3 with a new budget watch, they replied, S3 will continue to be sold. Which is when we turn to the musings of Komiya who, just minutes ago, tweeted that Apple Watch SE will be coming not this week but next March. It's something different from what Prosser said, the tweet makes clear, and will use an old design, to will replace Series 3. So, maybe that's it. Series 6 and the new, affordable watch will launch next week, with the Series 3 still part of the range until March when this new, old design watch launches. It's all quite complicated. We can't know if the one predicted by at LO Vetadream is happening, not until March next year. But the idea of Series 3 remaining is curious. While it makes sense to keep such a hot seller as Series 3 on sale, if true, it raises more questions. Series 3 sells for $199 and up. So, will Apple cut the price further, making it cheaper than some basic trackers and undercutting watches like the Fitbit Versa 2 or release the new, affordable watch at a higher price? It seems an extra layer of complication for Apple. Right now, there's the older Series 3 which is cheap because it's older and then four distinct Series 5 models in aluminum, stainless steel, titanium and ceramic finishes. Not to mention Nike and Hermes versions. That's a lot to choose from. Still, Apple has wanted to offer maximum choice with the Apple Watch since day one, so this could be a continuation of that mantra. And with demand for wearables growing exponentially, why would you retire a top-selling item? And, is Series 5 going to be canned or will it stay current, too? Questions, questions. We'll know the answers in just a few days. The latest report claims that the highly anticipated budget watch, colloquially known as Apple Watch SE, will be unveiled alongside Apple Watch Series 6.